Hello YouTube, this is Carlos once again with CHS Electronics. I have another short video here about this uh, 0.96 OLED display module uh, driven by a PIC16F887. Now these modules are, are very easy to program and get displays uh, going and your, your user fonts are easy to implement. It's a little bit too small for my taste, but uh, I had to make some fairly large uh, displays, uh, fonts, so that I can see it myself, because otherwise I couldn't read. That electronics text right there is just a little too small for me to read. So, uh, you can see it's uh, it's really, it's an I2C module, it only has uh, four pins, and uh, it's all done with this simple PIC16F887. Now here's the schematic to that board. It's uh, very simple. It has its uh, little voltage uh, regulator here. It's got some uh, filtering and it's got a couple of uh, pull-up resistors and pull-down resistors there. There's a pull-down resistor there. I had to make changes to these two capacitors here. I had to double them up because uh, I was having issues with the display on my breadboard. So there was a lot of noise being generated within the chip and so I had to add uh, double the capacitance here and here as well so I could make it work. Otherwise the image would display properly for a few seconds and then it would crap out. So uh, let's go on, move on to the to the data sheet, the data sheet here is the Solomon Systex Semiconductor Technical Data Sheet for the SSD 1306. The 1306 is very easy to use. It has a very comprehensive data sheet that will tell you everything and anything you need to know about this device and how to go about using it. Uh, I, it gives you explanations on what the pins are and how you can. Um, communicate with it either through I squared C or through SPI. So let me show you, it even provides some sample schematics somewhere down here of how you can connect this thing or design your own boards with it. Well, I may have passed it up. But anyways, there's, there's, a, there's a section of schematics that it shows in there. These are all commands by the way that you're looking at. These are the commands. So they're fairly easy to understand and they're easy to implement. Well, here is the code. Uh, the code, as everybody knows, I write in uh, Pick Basic Pro 3. I think it's very easy to implement. I think it's very easy to understand. Uh, everything that I do in this code is done in Go uh, in subroutine. So all I do is list everything in a Go sub. So that way it's easier just to loop through in the main loop and just go to each subroutine and, and do the commands there. So, uh, I use the, um, the uh, I2C uh, module that's uh, inside the PIC because uh, if I use uh, the I2C commands instead, uh, the outputs aren't open drain and with the module they are open drain, which is perfect for interfacing to a 3.3 volt uh, display when the PIC itself runs on 5 volts. So. Uh, word of caution on that. I've tried using it before without the uh, without the module and uh, it didn't work at all. So, uh, anyways, uh, this is the section where I display my logo, and each section is uh, called the page. And you fill up a page, and you move on to the next one, and, and it shows uh, whatever you have in this uh, this data field here. So, eight pages for to fill up the entire display very easy here are the the uh, user defined fonts that, that I generated and uh, they're also very easy I only use capital letters and a, and a few uh, uh, exclamation points or periods and commas or things like that so there you go uh, towards the bottom here we have the uh, other image of the circuit board that that had the electronics words on the bottom of it. So, you know, you can you can put in quite a bit in these chips. 
and it'll work just fine. So here's uh, the main code. The main code, like I said, is that every, everything is done in a subroutine, and all I do is loop through the main code and go to each subroutine. Now these, this is where I generate my fonts. I use, I use this uh, Excel, uh, I guess you can call it program. I don't know, it's just a bunch of formulas in Excel. And uh, here's my, my fonts that I generated for this particular display. Uh, let me see if I can show you some more over here. So all the information is stored in each, uh, in each bank or each page. So page five, as you can see, goes all the way towards the end over there. And then once I have all these, all these bits in, in binary, I convert them to hexadecimal up here. So if I click on this top one, there's a formula that I use to convert these bytes into hexadecimal formats. So if I click on this particular eight bytes, there's a formula for that. And then you can see down here on the display, this is the data that it collects from there. And each color represents a one or a zero. If it's red, it's a one. If it's gray, it's a zero. So there you go. I can give uh, I can give out a copy of this if anybody's interested. I don't have a problem with sharing. Uh, let me show you my logo. Here's where I generated my logo, and here how it looks in binary. And then this is of course all the section of the hexadecimals. So I took this program and or this Excel sheet, and I created this. And uh, as you can see, it's just everything is written in a one or a zero. And uh, it generates the code or in the format that I needed to be displayed by the microcontroller for the display. And I also used it to generate the fonts that I needed for the ST. 7920 GLCD display. So a while back I made a video on that and these are this is what I use to generate the fonts for that as well. So here's the graphics for that that I use on that display and then I was trying to come up with some second second graphics but uh, I don't know on I guess I did I did do that. Huh. I can't remember if I did or did But anyways, there, uh, there's the fonts for my uh, OLED display. And uh, if you guys are interested, I can share that to anybody that, that wants a copy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed working with this uh, display. It was very easy. It was very quick and uh i only wish that they came in a much bigger uh bigger size you know towards uh like a uh, 20 by 4 character lcd uh if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you enjoy what i the content i bring to you please uh subscribe and support my channel uh I, although i i can't uh make videos every week as I wish I could but uh, I make them as soon as I can and so anyways thank, thank you guys for sticking around and watching the video and I will see you guys next time and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll come out with a with a new project and or an old project and just bring it out to video and let you guys see it which I think I'm gonna do anyways thanks again for watching and I hope you liked it and subscribed See you next time.